Hey there tech heads, just a quick video just to show you how I install my preferred method of installing ESXi onto a USB key like so. Very straightforward to do, as with most things there's multiple different ways of achieving the same thing. This is just happens to be my preferred method of doing it because I find it easiest. So I run a Windows based machine running VMware Workstation, but the steps I'm going to show you shortly uh, also apply to if you're running um, uh, VMware Fusion on a uh, Apple Mac uh, so, without further ado, first thing you want to do is I'm going to open up VMware Workstation like so. Ahead of doing this, uh, obviously you need to download the VMware ESXi image from VMware.com. Uh, download the evaluation version, it's free to do. Uh, and uh, once you've got that, what you want to do is go into Workstation. We're going to create a new virtual machine. We're just going to take the defaults as we run through here. In the interest of time, I've already uh, saved the ISO image of VMware uh, ESXi up to the S drive and I've pointed this uh, installation to it. So uh, virtual machine name, that's what I'm going to give it, and that's where it's going to save um, the outputted um, uh, copy of ESXi. Now we're defining 40 gigs of a disk space. Now the thing is I should mention here, in reality we're not actually going to end up writing anything to this 40 gig drive that we're creating here. The reason being at the last minute when we go through the installation process, and you'll see this shortly, we're actually going to point the installation to actually output onto the USB key rather than this drive. But uh, as far as uh, VMware Workstation is concerned at the moment, uh, it's being installed onto the drive that was just defined. So there we go. Like I say, just take the defaults for everything. It's going through. Now what I want to do at this point is I'm going to go around the back and install this USB key into the USB 2 port. Okay, I've now installed the USB key into the port of the PC. So what we want to do at this point is present the USB key that I installed into the PC uh, through to this particular VM. So I'm just going to click on connect, like so. And what we've done now is we've told VMware Workstation to present that USB key that I plugged into my physical PC here through to the ESXi VM. Um, and as you can see, it's going through the installation process. So what will happen at the end of this process, um, when it gets to a point of asking us where we want to install ESXi, it'll, sh it'll see one of two places. Well, it'll see both places. The first one will be the 40 gig hard drive that we defined at the start of this process when we were originally configuring the VM. And the second one will be, as a target destination, the USB key that uh, we just uh, plugged in and presented through to the VM. So this will take a, a couple of minutes to go through this step, so uh, I'll uh, fast forward this part so um, you don't have to wait. Okay, the first part of the setup for the ESXi installer is now completed. Uh, as I mentioned, it took uh, about two minutes to get to this point. Um, so this is the start of the ESXi uh, 6 installation in this, this case. Just press the Enter key to proceed, uh, accept the terms and conditions, um, like so. And what it's doing here, it's now scanning the available storage locations or targets that it has available to it. And as I mentioned before, it's got two places. The first one, as you can see, is the 40 gig um, uh, hard disk that we defined when we were configuring this VM and the second one is the uh, USB key that I inserted and then presented through to this particular VM. So at this point uh, what I'm going to do is select the USB key as the target destination for the installation. Literally just press enter like so. Um, the ESXi installer goes out, gets a little bit more information, gathers a bit more information as it says on that USB key, warns you that uh, any data that you have on that USB key will be overwritten. Um, select your default keyboard layout. Uh, I'm in the UK, so I'll select the UK. Um, type in a root password. So take note of this because uh, if you forget this or mistype it, um, Yes, you're, you're kind of locked out at that point, so uh, make sure that uh, you select a, a memorable password, one that's obviously secure. If it's a home lab, obviously it doesn't matter as much. So um, here we go, F11 to install. So point of no return at this point. So uh, once again, I'll fast forward this part here, but uh, this is literally installing ESXi version 6 in this instance through to that USB key. Okay, the installation is now complete, as you can see there. Um, at this point, what you want to do is go up and actually power off the uh, virtual machine. 
And with the virtual machine now switched off, what you can do is uh, then go ahead into Windows, safely eject the USB key, take your USB key, and uh, plug it into your ESXi host. Like I said, there are different ways of doing this. Um, all are good, but this is my preferred method of uh, creating a bootable ESXi key. I hope you found this useful. If you did, if you can give the video a thumbs up, that would be much appreciated. Thanks very much.